Hi guys, today's topic will be the C3 Sicilian. So let's go into the C3 Sicilian. E4, C5, C3, Knight, C6. Uh, not Knight, C6. So here's the, the um, our position, our main position. Here there's many moves uh, like D5. Knight c6 or knight f6. So I prefer here to play provo provocatively to play knight f6 and after e5, knight d5, d4. <laughs> because if he plays bishop c4, queen c7 is good. And yep. So yeah. Um, so he plays. But he has d4 too. So he plays d4. And now we take. Then he plays knight f3. Cannot take because uh, knight hangs d5 so then he plays e6 to protect the knight which is also a good move now here's two systems let's just put it for black's perspective what I do play because here e5 is restricting black's play so if we watch at the pieces uh, these are good pieces for black these these are well maybe a little bit uh, good piece the only bad piece is the bishop so sometimes we have to look at the piece and, and say where would I like it to be and here um, a guy which showed me this variation suggests me to play b6 but there's also the theoretical d6 which we'll look at a bit later but after b6 Um okay um if uh here C takes let's just examine other moves. <laughs> e six will trump spots but there's some other uh, uh variations but they, I think that they are quite bad. Knight C three is bad. Yeah, because of knight takes C three Queen C seven these uh not Mr. Mock D six will come destructing all the center and uh, a guy on chess on chess uh, on YouTube said that this is good for white but I don't know why uh, it seems fairly bad he just his assessment was okay there's a pawn which is supporting this other pawn but I don't know why. Uh, don't listen this. He was playing a live boots game. Uh, he was calculating. He just went for toss, but this is a bad thought. So here, black's position is pretty much close to small small edge. <laughs> but really, if he wants to transpose, he can do it. So. Knight f3. Um, here not play knight c6 again. Play b6. Okay, now after um, uh, 
yeah here after bishop d3 we should play actively playing f5 now this is a really strong move I really like it very much it's really cool um, this is a good system controlling all the squares on the board counterattacking in the center that's the main point of the Sicilian to counterattack and then your plan will simply be bishop uh, b7 then to castles uh, not bishop e7, I think that bishop b4 is slightly better winning a tempo than castle uh, quickly because uh, if a, a queen gets around on this square checking the white king it could be deadly so f5 is the active setup and here there's another interesting setup for positional players to play d6 this is good too but not in the view of d takes c we want to keep the tension and what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna show you where you can study the line but the basic idea is to play queen c7 Knight d7, b6, uh, oops, missed the mark again, then bishop b7. This is your main uh, plan of campaign. And not to castle, which would be a good thing here, but if you exchange a lot of pieces and there's a sort of in end game building up, don't castle, never castle, keep your king in the center. Um, the keep in the center, the, the king in the center keeps great advantage. And for this setup, I'm gonna recommend looking at a video, not chess cube. That is it. The video of chess panda. Uh, chess panda uh, playing against c3 Sicilian. Yeah, I really liked it, and you can see um, this is the line given d6 with some cool music too. Then here you play queen c7 and all that we talk. So, yeah, have a great fun and thank you.